So I've already charged the company over over two dollars in loss in my first 20 seconds of actually starting to work here. So. Not sure if you want to keep it. Yeah. I'm Jeff. I just retired from the military, sold everything I own, and now I'm traveling around the world to learn from brewers, winemakers, distillers, and tell their story. This is my journey of beer, wine, and spirits. was always distillery business. During the last 10 years I was doing various uh, courses of product distilleries in Poland, in Scotland, in Ireland, in Italy. I learned a lot about the distillery business. Certain friends was calling me up in Dubai and said, hey Andy, there is a small distillery on sale in Stroville and in Turgau in the eastern part of Switzerland. That's something maybe for you. We spent some summer in Switzerland. We were talking to my wife and said, let's, let's go and have a look there, you know. So we were driving to this uh, exotic Strohwilen, you know, tiny little town. We fall in love with this small distillery and we decide, let's go for it. We found uh, Bartolomeus, our master distiller, and we decide, let's uh, bring some fresh wind into this uh, distillery and uh, let's go for it. The original founders of Macardo 2007, one of them, his name was Marco, and the other one called Bernardo. So with these two names, they came up with Macardo. It's a kind of a respect to keep the name, and, and we like the name. It's an established brand here in Switzerland, so there was no reason at all to change it. Swiss bourbon. The Swiss bourbon. So, so tell me how you came up with that idea. We are living here in the eastern part of, of Switzerland surrounded by a lot of farms. One of the productions here are corn. We decide let's see how the corn is suitable for any kind of whiskey project. So we did a little bit of research on certain recipes. We decide let's make this challenge. Let's make some bourbon and we call them Swiss bourbon. How can you call this bourbon if it's not from America? How did you find a way around that? Well, that's a little bit uh, a, a kind of a critical question, you know, and we are, of course, we are in a free zone, you know. We, we say, well, it's not a Kentucky bourbon or it's a, it's a Tennessee bourbon. We particularly mention it's a Swiss bourbon. our production facilities here and, and the size, we are reaching a little bit our limit. We don't have enough space. So we are looking actually during the next couple of months to find a little bit a different place uh, where we have more space. We try to make some uh, new kind of whiskies um, in, the, in the single malt, uh, some special editions. A unique project which we started just a couple of years ago was rum. We are one of the, I guess, the first distilleries in Switzerland producing rum. We are selecting some very interesting sugarcane molasses around the world. It gives us a lot of fun and satisfaction to make some nice rum here in Switzerland. seconds of actually starting to work here. So. Not sure if you want to keep it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <sighs> okay, so we know I'm not labeling. <laughs> How did you get persuaded to come over here and work for uh, Ricardo? A friend of mine is also a friend of the owner of this company and, and we talked together and our friend asked me 
what do you think about uh, whiskey distillery and, and a friend of mine is looking for for one who do the production and that's the way I come to Switzerland how long have you been working for Ricardo four years yeah, yeah. Yeah, from the start, yeah. When they took over the company, yeah, I start here also to make whiskies. Years ago, I worked in a, in a factory and we produced fruit juices and, and concentrates of fruit juices. And a part of this company was also a wine cellar and a, a distillery. So I worked six to eight years in the, in the producing process for, for fruit juices and concentrates. And then one winter time there was less worker in the distillery and, and I helped them to, to distill fruits. And, and, and I thought, oh, that's a fine job, I, I like it. And, and then another company in my region was looking for a worker in, in the producing for fruit spirits. So, and I thought, oh, let's try it. And, and that's the way I get into the fruit spirits. And, yeah. and that's 22 years ago and I'm still there. Perfect. Perfect. With a good liver at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.